Now, poaching, it has risen in recent years across sub-Saharan Africa, where well-armed criminals have killed elephants for tusks that are often shipped to Asia. The Nairobi Elephant Orphanage recently celebrated World Elephant Day to primarily bring attention to the plight. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. The world marked the third annual World Elephant Day to highlight the crisis facing elephants in Africa and Asia. About 100 African elephants are slaughtered every day for the illegal wildlife trade. The David Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage near Nairobi is home to over 20 orphaned calves whose family members were poached. The young elephants are hand-raised and later released back into the wild. The head keeper says the number of elephants keeps growing. If we go into their stories one by one, I want to promise you more than 80 percent are victims of ivory poaching. In 2012, an estimated 35,000 elephants were killed for their tusks. Conservationists warn that poaching could drive the species to extinction within a decade. Currently in Africa, every 15 minutes, an elephant is gone. You can tell uh, uh, how long it will take before we lose everything. I believe in 10 years, maximum 15 years, there will be no more elephants if the current rate is going on. Poaching levels in Africa have exceeded 5% of the total population a tipping point as killings are now exceeding the elephant's natural growth rate. Kenyan authorities seized 13 tons of ivory last year, and so far this year they've arrested 249 suspects. In January, a court upheld its new anti-poaching law and convicted a Chinese man of smuggling ivory and ordering him to pay a fine of 233,000 U.S. dollars or serve seven years in jail. Conservationists hope the new law will deter criminal networks. The chief executive officer of Wildlife Direct, an elephant conservation body, explains how poaching destroys the lineage of the elephants. We are losing about 35,000 elephants every year in Africa. At that rate, they will be gone within 10 years. But you can't just look at them as statistics. Elephants are individuals and they live in families. And poachers are targeting the adults. Now, these are long-lived animals. They live till their 80s. When you take out the adults, you're, you're removing the knowledge base of generations. And you're left with gangs of youngsters. Meanwhile, the demand for ivory is soaring in Asia, and 90% of it comes from China. It's the demand that is actually driving the poaching. And so the world must concentrate efforts on persuading China to ban domestic trade in ivory. In 1979, there were an estimated 1.3 million African elephants. By 1989, the numbers fell dramatically to 600,000. That's when an international ban temporarily slowed poaching, but the numbers are still falling, and it is estimated that fewer than 400,000 African elephants remain today. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.